Hi there, welcome to the Beetle Breeding Channel. The lady here is dead already a longer time, I think. It's a big uh, Megasoma Kios Porioni female. She was in this box since 20th of May, that's around three months. So that's uh, the period they can live if they are just out of their uh, pupil chamber two to three months that's a life span of an adult megasoma of the osporioni. You see the surface of the substrate I put in some white rotten wood pieces and pre-sculptures by stack beetles and um, the material is pretty compacted. Now it's more or less half of what it was before and the question is did she lay some eggs yes or no and uh, we will find out in the next minute here in the beetle breeding uh, channel so the first thing that i will try to do is to just take out all the uh, wood pieces from the surface also one of the pieces i put in like it would be a stem of a tree like this one here so it goes down a little bit to the substrate sometimes also the structure of the or the the way these wood pieces are introduced into the substrate can uh, motivate the females to lay eggs but this is not a scientifically uh, proved fact it's just something uh, sometimes you get uh, an idea that it could be good to also place wood pieces like this, not only flat on the surface. So let's see, in this case it would be the best method to just turn the whole box over and then have a look at what we find inside. But first I have to pay attention that I don't crash with my camera here. Okay. As you can see, there's some clay on the bottom here. It's really very hard to, hard to compress the whole thing. It's pretty hard. It's like a, a very hard mass of substrate here. So let's see whether we find something. There's a centipede here. That's these are the animals that we really don't like in the substrate because they can eat uh, the little eggs also and damage the egg. So let's see whether we find something. Mostly, uh, I would guess there are more. If we find some, there are more in the in the deepest layer of the substrate. Um, I think more in this. So it seems like you see a trace where the female went through and made some tunnels here and also probably compressed uh, this uh, material. So I really hope she laid some eggs here. So let's see, we have to remove this part of the substrate here and then we're ready. Now let's see. And on the bottom, also whether she touched here to the bottom of the substrate, but I don't think she did it. Now that would be. Oh, look here. Megasomachios porioni, an offspring of this big mother here yeah and now let's see it was dropped in a, in the edge of the of the of the box now i have to work from one side from this side to this side so that i can check all the the pieces and go through the whole substrate. So that's a, a nice view to see that is one 
larva here and I really hope it's not the only one so that would be not a big harvest for a big mother like this only one of the brain now oh, let's see whether we find some more here Sometimes if you get your females uh, from somebody you never know how old they are already and of course it's sometimes it's the case that they already laid some eggs and then if they come to your place they don't have so many eggs anymore to lay. That's also one of the problems if you buy uh, pairs from a dealer that could be the fact that they have already look up but here is a very nice egg so what we have here is is an egg a larva and her mother so that's a nice picture here so we have more than one let's go carefully through the substrate check everything here very carefully and then we can say whether we find some more of them but with uh, this larva I prepared a little box for her where she can dive down so that she is uh, safe here in this nice uh, little box. So we know there's one here. And there we go on. Uh, don't forget if you have a lamp like this, that also don't leave an egg uh, like this just alone. It would be a good idea to, if you have a, a fresh egg, to just give some of the fresh material. Uh, to a box, compress it a little bit as it has been in the original box where you found the egg then make a little hole, compress it also and then you can put in this egg into this hole and cover it with slightly, uh, not compress it then too much, so and this would be a good place for an egg like this. So, on we go. Are there some more eggs here? That's the question. And it's always, look here, look this is, now this is just came out of the egg. In this moment I have to pay attention get a little spoon to show it to you. This is really so small it's difficult and the danger if you take it out only by hand. So this must be saved like this. So you see that so on this black background you hardly can see it so we have to put it a little bit on this whitish background to have a better idea how it looks freshly came out of the egg so also for this very fragile larval I just prepare a little a small box here this is meant is meant for the first for the first days and then we go we have to put this lower into that small cave here cover it with a piece of so oh, that's it like this and we hope it stays well here so what we find now is that could be that we find some more eggs and um, 
and hopefully we don't squash them now by going through the substrate so you have to be very careful with your hands if you want to break up a piece of the soil like this so you have to be very careful not to squash the eggs or the small larvae that's interesting just uh, we find uh, some three uh, two larvas one egg so actually make us some just put the only like some eggs here and we can hope to see some more but as you know already this is a, a, a work that can go on for hours sometimes if you have a lot of this uh, if we have a lot of these boxes so it's um, containers it can last some time to go carefully through all that uh, material but I heard from some friends of the channel that um, when I wanted to make the videos shorter they said no don't, don't do that just show us the whole process don't go too fast we want to see the whole work you do it's also kind of a meditation here yeah if you like to touch uh, soil and you don't think it's dirty or yeah of course it's dirt but sometimes dirt is not really dirty it's it, ah look another egg just uh, on uh, on, a, on the brink to hatching so that's also one more so we find two eggs now one big L1 stage so this is just comes in here like this of course I have to uh, write the right re real name on, me, on it it's now written Dinosaurus Hercules of course that's not right but sometimes if you are in a fever even then don't forget to make notes about your work it can help later on that you can go back and, and see what did I do then, what kind of material did I use uh, especially in the, in the case when you have success <coughs> or when it's a big disaster that you that you can go back to your notes and see what could have went wrong wow this is very nice look here this is practically come out in the last two minutes and now here's another egg no it's freshly also this is also freshly came out so I have to decide whether I really want to go on doing that because it seems they are so they are so freshly coming out here that I probably should stay leave them in here and don't touch them for the next uh, let's say two weeks because this is uh, like a too big danger to take this kind of small 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 hatched lorries out here okay especially this one here this is completely white so this is actually came out this second this is really completely white as you can see here so that's not a that's not a thing that you should uh, consider a good tactic to take out the animals when they are so young because then of course as you can see they are extremely uh, fragile just when they came out so what I do um, yeah I think I place these 
I take out these two that I open now already so that would be probably the safer way and then I put back the big blocks here that could contain some more of the larvas. Also you can see here that they are living in a kind of a little cave and of course we try to give it artificially to them too like we, we put it in here so and I try to cover it carefully with a piece of this earth here like this and close it again so um, for the for this one here under the microscopic camera we make the same compress the material carefully make, make a hole here and then quickly put it back so because this is so young it's a danger of drying out very quickly if you don't bring it in a surrounding where it's uh, enough has enough humidity so that's it oh okay now we have five X no three X two very small lot of us and now we make we go back with that blocks to the original box that sits here yeah. I will place these blocks here on the bottom like this and then cover it with the original material so that I don't have to disturb oh look also here yeah is it now the two two of them ah. now this is a little bit bad because I hope Normally, I, of course, I hope to see as many as I can of this small lobby, but these are in fact too small now. So, also this one here is a pretty, yeah, it's a little bit bigger, but also you see this is uh, freshly came out of the subs of the of the egg shell. So it's good to bring the big blocks back and only take out the ones that now that we cannot put back anymore into this big uh, box. So now we need some more small boxes to put them in. I can put these two together in one box like this. Oh, no, this is the seed of a of a melon, watermelon. Compress it. Yeah, making two holes, one here, one here. So the nice thing is we will find some more here. One here. That's the nice thing about it. I don't want to touch it here with my hand. Uh, just to roll it into the... Yeah, like this. Nice thing is we found some larvas, some eggs here, so could be that there are some more. Bad thing a little bit is that they are too young to take out, so... I think it's good if you see it like this that you stop digging for them because this is the real uh, fragile uh, stage when they just come out of their eggs and our tiny L1 lorels. Thanks for watching.